We have arrived in the new apartment! We're the first to get here, so we've been having like a little debate about where we should sleep because we don't want to take the best room because we're guests on this trip. It's so bright. It is nice and bright, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want to take the best room. Like there's one room which is like a, there's only one room with a double bed. Then there's another room with two single beds. And then there's um, the living area, which I'll show you, which has uh, like fold out beds. So there's like one here that folds out to a double and then the same here. And because we were kind of like invited on this trip after they booked it and all of them were coming, we don't want to then go and like arrive first and then take the best room. So we've decided, because there's two couples here on this trip, we've decided we'll take, because there's two bedrooms. So there's one bedroom with a double bed and then one with two singles. We've left this one for the couple who's arriving this evening. Kia and Alex, and then we've taken this room with the double, with the two singles and pushed it together. Because in my brain, I think that makes the most sense. And then Zoe, Ariel, and um, why am I saying her second name? Zoe, and <laughs> Zoe and Cheryl can sleep in here, and then Zoe's friend as well. Um, so yeah, because I think Zoe's bringing a friend. I don't think it's her boyfriend. I'm not sure, but we don't know any of these people. Like they're all friends, and we don't know anyone. So we also don't want to like make anyone feel awkward having to like share a room with us because we're a couple. But I don't know, I'm overthinking it. But I do think about these things a lot. But it's really nice here. Let's give you a quick tour. Not, maybe we won't do like a big proper tour like we did the last one, but um, I'll quickly show you it. So this is the first bedroom. Then let's start the entrance. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you there. That lock itself. This way, fire extinguisher. Nice little... Plants, we were discussing how much of a waste of space it is yeah. in here. They could use it so much good. better. It must be quite an old building. Yeah. yeah. Bathroom number one. Very nice. Not quite as nice as bathroom number two. There's better lighting in here. Oh, yes. And it's a waterfall shower. Oh. So I'm using this one. It's got a bidet. Oh, yeah. Bidet. Good news for you. You like, you like, since Thailand. Not like that though. You have to get off the toilet and then wash oh. your bum afterwards. Yeah. Slightly different. Well, this is the master bedroom. Which we were tempted to take, but decided yeah. not to. Well, I, I still might. <laughs> now, this is our makeshift double bed we made with the two singles. You left the picture on my bed. <laughs> that was on the bedside table. Uh, there's nothing behind you. Yeah. Mm. Here we are. Air conditioning, lots of space. Oh, and done my zip up. It's all our junk which we need to sort out. These are the IKEA beds, aren't they? That mm. pop out under there. Yeah. One of them there, one of them there. TV. I was hoping there'd be a TV. I brought nice picture. Huh? Nice picture. That's nice, yeah. Mm. We, we were, were saying that they should have knocked this wall down and that wall down seems a bit pointless. I always do this. Do so you do this when you go somewhere and stay somewhere and you like renovate it in your brain? Yeah. I would knock this wall down because it's the kitchen and then there's like a little kind of alleyway corridor bit to the kitchen. I'll show you the bit that we were in earlier. It's very bright in here, this bit that you can actually come through. I would knock this wall down and then that way you could have a big kitchen and dining room area and then you could have the mm. living space here and you can have like a really big dining table for because it's like sleeps eight people so there's only like a small table which doesn't necessarily like encourage you to have like a big meal here mm. so you can have like a when big you've got eight people yeah when you can sleep eight you should have like a oh. big table way exposed i was wondering why it's so exposed and then you could do that like that and then have a living area and like a big sofa because if there's eight people again if you're in a city sometimes you want to come home and relax and have like there's yeah. nowhere for any, everyone to like chill and out so when you're trying to watch the tv yeah you, you kind of have to sleep on sit on someone's bed yeah so you should have like a big corner sofa here and then through here because then then that corner sofa could be a sofa bed and then you could also yes yeah, so that would be enough to sleep two people there and then you could have in here use the space a bit better to have two smaller bathrooms and like that were this way entrance that way and then you could make a bedroom like a small single bedroom here and then yeah you'd have more space that's what i'd do <laughs> but anyway let's just show the kitchen it's a world heritage site oh this eagle-eyed vlog viewers from yesterday's vlog we came I don't know, we came around here didn't we yeah 
and then we went and then the big bridge is over here yeah yeah it's nice there it is yes we're not complaining about this place though are we it's oh no i just do that this place is great i do that every place i go to i always um whenever i go somewhere i'm always like oh they should do this i'm like I, when I was younger, I really wanted to be an architect and I love interior design, so I always do that in my brain. Yeah. This place is great. The kitchen is very nice though, because it's got yeah. all that. It's got washing machine and dishwasher, microwave, yeah. It's got I'm, everything. I'm impressed by the kitchen. Yeah, very good kitchen, really the, big fridge. The like digital fridge yeah. and freezer. Yeah. Really nice big kitchen. And an iron. And look, and, and we can hang our washing. Oh uh, yeah. This is the view, it's raining and horrible right now, so it doesn't look great, but I'm sure it'll be nice on a sunny day. I can see a bath mat down there on the roof that I think must have fallen oh, off. Oh, and a towel. Head. Oh, yeah. Huh. So maybe that was a bath mat from this place, and maybe. now we don't have one anymore. So we're going to relax for a bit because we've been wandering around in the rain, and I kind of want to get go to the um, market and get some food. And yeah, I just want to sit down and just chill. Mm. We're here now. Um, a shop down there it looked like it looked like three liters of wine in a big jug for seven euros yeah which is a crazy price <laughs> oh. right i'm gonna put this camera down once and for all the next day good afternoon it is 12.40. We're here with Cheryl. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and we've come to the beach. I have no idea what this beach is called. Praia. Something Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. And um, we're meeting the others. So we're here with Cheryl and also Zoe and Kia and Alex and Aaron. And yeah, we're gonna try out some surfing, I think. I don't hear any waves. I don't hear any waves. And I don't, we haven't like checked out if they have like a surfer renting yeah. situation. I feel like every sort of beach probably will. Yeah, but it's really nice and hot. It's hotter than than Porto oh, was. It is so actually sunny. It is actually oh. really nice. So we're gonna sunbathe. Yay! So this is the surfing beach that we've come to with all the waves. <laughs> oh, I think Alex is gonna be really sad. Because he found, not this Alex, different Alex, Kia's boyfriend Alex. He um, bought a book of surfing spots in Europe and um, was really keen. There are, there are other spots that we can look at, I guess. So the surf school is closed. So they're either closed for lunch or they're closed because there's no waves. So we might have to go for plan B. What's that? I don't know. Surf on Sunday? our bellies. Sunbathe and swim. I always prefer doing it on my belly. You just catch the wave. If it's not, you can't stand up on your belly. I don't want to stand up. <laughs> I want to relax. Okay. He just had an espresso as well. Yeah. <laughs> Got your walking sticks, Al. Das ist wunderbar. This is so nice, so sunny. So I got totally coaxed into dunking my head under. Cheryl was like, let's run in. And we all ran in, but I was the only one who dunked my head. Alex was already in though. It's very cold, but I kind of want to go back in before I like get out and settle. Yeah. I it's so I cold. I found some litter. I'm going to put the litter back there. And take the camera back. These guys okay. are paddle boarding over here. And they've already face planted a couple of times. <laughs> it's very cold, but I feel like now I'm in. Yeah. I want to make the most of it and then relax. Yeah. Also, I need a wee. Right. So we've both tried and kind of failed miserably at that. But it was really hard, and apparently those, I don't know, it's choppy and yeah, we suck, we sucked. But it was really fun. I liked laying on it. <laughs> no pressure though, but you're being filmed right now. <laughs> Can you get a move on? <laughs> <laughs> it's connecting. It's the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi problem, they follow me. What's it called, Amarino? 
Amarino. Aww. Like the ice cream place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to get one, Alex. All right, we're connected. We were in the sea for like hours and hours and there was no one else there and suddenly dozens and dozens of people have turned up, the surf school's turned up so we think we went in at the wrong time because now the waves have got good but somehow it became great weather Hello! Hello! Hello. Hello. Watch out for the, yeah, watch out for the spikes Hello! We were just like, you've come over here because you're shy to vlog, aren't you? I actually came to see what there was. And then, uh, I, yeah, sure. then, I, then I stood in these like holly sure. bush things. They're horrible. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had like a heaters before? 